Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and we are here with the Stormy Skies pack today and the current heiress Rain and her little puppies who should be safe in the den and you may recall that we are starting to move into the ancestor dreams that we can gather or that we can have like as a little mission for our heirs of the different packs to do and beautiful Rain here had two very interesting dreams yesterday. She had a dream from Eclipse who would be her great grandfather? Maybe her grandfather at this point? Yeah, her her grandfather. Yeah, Eclipse would be her grandfather. Have to go down like the wolf lineage list there. Let's go ahead and see if we can find some food really quickly. Oh, apparently there was food right here. It's just like right there, one dot of food. And she had a dream from, oh, oh, oh. Are we on top of the elk? Hello? Hello? Elk? <laughs> Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Oh, good. And he is here. So her grandfather Eclipse had a dream of her being able to prove that even if we lost Zephyr, she would be able to survive as a single wolf with the puppies by taking out the bulk. Okay. One, two, and then, okay, let's go eat. Oh gosh, we're getting, we're getting totally pummeled. Let's come eat and then we're going to try to take the bull elk out again. So that is her current mission for this this generation, this litter I should say, is to go ahead, come over and tackle this bull elk. One, two, but we have to be careful. Okay, we'll, we'll try one more. Okay, and let's get out of here. Because yesterday she also had a very weird dream, or two days ago she had a very weird dream where she tried to like eat the bull elk and she ended up dying and goodness what could that dream have been from who knows but basically we decided to restart just that once just like we gave moon dancer one pass because we forgot to howl uh after she killed a rabbit and her goal now is to okay one two and that's all we can get off on him darn Moon Dancer's goal is to howl, hunt at night and howl after every kill and kill one rabbit and four cow elk at night before she goes to the summer hunting grounds with her puppies. And I forgot to howl after the rabbit, but we're going to give Moon Dancer one pass. We're going to give our beautiful Rain a pass because she got killed by the cow elk or by the bull elk last time. But in the future, oh, he's running. He's running. We have him on the move. We have him on the move. He's on the hoof. Oh, I gotta turn him around. That's the opposite direction where we want him to run. Okay. We're gonna howl so that Zephyr doesn't try to go and chase him. And then let's turn around this way. Go that way, Mr. Cow or Bull Elk. I keep calling him a cow elk. There we go. Oh, and Zephyr's saying that there is a... Well, we have to hunt the Bull Elk on our own anyway. And Zephyr's holding still, which means that there is a predator waiting for us at the den. So we need to go back to the den pretty soon. We're not going to be- oh my gosh! Really, sir? You're going to do this to me? This is going to be more challenging than I thought to meet our mission of being able to kill this bull elk. Alright, okay, because rain is not fast at all. Oh, the river might actually help us for once. I think even if we don't have him as food, if we can kill him, that would, that would mean a lot. Oh, don't chase him to the other side of the river, rain. Come on, Rain. Oh, we're gonna have to turn around and feed the puppy. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. To kill a bull elk in spring. Aw, oh, dang it, there he goes. There he goes. To kill a bull elk in spring just by ourselves. Oh, but this is perfect because we have to kill him just by ourselves. We would have to call our mate off. And I forgot to call our mate off, but that's okay. Because I don't think Zephyr landed a single useful blow, it seemed. Oh my gosh. Can we even catch this guy? Rain, I love you, but you're not very fast. Come on. A bite to the rump. Just a couple bites to the rump. Just a couple at least. All right, can I just hold on? I'm just going to hang in here. All right, and then we're just going to sit down for a second. And I think we need to start working our way back over to the puppies to defend them and to feed them. Also, we need some food because holding on to him like that really weakened us. <laughs> This is going to be really hard for Rain because she has to prove to to Eclipse, her ancestor, grandfather Eclipse, that she can take care of the puppies all on her own, even when Zephyr isn't able to help us hunt or if we lost him. And a lot of you guys are like, no, don't kill Zephyr. And I, I'm really happy to see that because I had so many people saying, oh, get rid of him. I want to see Rain be a single wolf. And many of you came up with a really good idea that I only thought of after um, we lost Rain last time. If we lose the main wolf, then what we might do is use their mate. Switch over and pretend that we're their mate. 
um, by going into multiplayer and like playing the pack out there. So we'll think about it. We'll think about it. But Rain actually has children, so they would be the ones. Oh gosh, we better howl. And our our, uh, our our territory markers are down. Oh, adding these missions is really gonna make things a lot trickier. I love this. Oh my goodness. So yeah, Rain's goal: kill a cow or a bull elk. Excuse me. All on her own. Oh my gosh, we just need to like pee on things as we run up here. Kill a bull elk all on her own before we leave for the summer hunting ground. And it's a bear. I can take care of a bear because we're the bear biting legacy. Get out of here. One, two, and three. There we go. Chase that grizzly away. Didn't even get hit. Awesome job. All right, my children. Winter, let's feed you. Misty, Rocky, Ash, let's feed everybody. <laughs> Oh, I love the missions. It just adds something so much more to the whole challenge. And it's fun to kind of tie in the personalities of the ancestors with what the missions are based about, too. All right, so our babies are doing a really good job. I'm glad to see that. But yeah, so I really do like the idea, and some of you were really excited about it, of after each litter, maybe having a poll. Oh, is that Zephyr? He has the best howl. That was awesome. But after each litter, perhaps having a poll to see what happens to our main wolf. To see if they, like, nothing happens, just it's a normal summer. And it would be a blind poll. So you guys would just, like, kind of read something like, uh, oh, dear. Really? Like, our wolves go off into uh, their summer hunting ground. And then you guys would have, like, a blind poll to vote on. Oh, we got hit on what would happen to our wolves while they're in the summer hunting ground. Yes, we chased another grizzly away. Look at us go. How many, how many grizzlies is that? 15, 15 to rain. Oh, she's so awesome. But you'd have poll options and it would say things like take the forested path or go by the river or follow this weird scent. And you wouldn't know what the results would be, but you guys would vote on that together. And then I would reveal what that weird scent was or what would happen to our wolves. Would they get hurt? Would they have like a really wonderful summer? Would they get really fat and, and strong and gain strength stat but lose like some speed? So those kinds of boosts, it would be really fun to see their stories and then see what you guys make of their stories, the results of those polls, out of like the art and the fan art, or the fan fiction and little stories that you tell in the comments. I think that would be so much fun. So that's another thing we might start doing after each litter as well, just to keep things very fresh, keep things fun, because we all are just loving the stories of our wolves and the legacies that they have in Wolf Quest. But it is a game with three levels that you have to learn how to play with a lot of creativity to keep it fun. But I think that's the secret to pretty much anything in life. Play it with creativity and passion for what you love about it. And I love the stories. And you can really have a great time. All right, let's go ahead. There, all right, and we're gonna howl. There we go. Man, he has a beautiful howl. I think Zephyr definitely is older. Oh, no, 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 Coyote. No, 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 no. Do this, there we go. Yeah, I think Zephyr is definitely older. All right, and we're gonna come up here and let's play with our puppies for just a second. They're well fed, they don't need much. I wanna play with them. I think that she would be a very playful mom. Tail wags, puppy play. Yeah, come on you guys. Oh, my little babies. So it looks like the most playful are Rocky and Ash and the other, Winter is just like ignoring, Winter and Misty are just like ignoring their mom. They're like, whatever mom. You, you go and do your silly stuff, Mom. All right, so let's come down. Let's see where the bull elk has run off to. I really hope he hasn't just disappeared or gained back all his health. That would kind of suck. He might have because we, we kind of ran him off for quite a while. Oh, I bet he did. Darn. It's going to be really hard to get this bull elk like quest part done. All right, well, let's come down and eat really quickly. And there we go. But yeah, there's lots of fun ideas, you guys. I am just so thrilled. I love seeing what you suggest. And I think it's going to be really fun to leave the wolves' fate in your guys' hands through the polls that we'll do because it'll make it much more interactive. And you guys will be able to decide, even if you don't know what the results will be, what happened to our wolves. All right, let's see if I can find where the bull elk went. Rain, you are so slow in the water. 
I've, I've got to find the crossing and just start using the crossing point. All right, any elk? How big is their elk territory? Ah, oh, I bet you they're not going to be over here. I've never really seen them over here. They're always over by the river. And I don't see the bull elk. This is going to be hard. All right, we probably need to just go feed the babies. So let's go feed the babies, and we'll look on the other side of the river for the elk. Man, this is going to be tough. I should just try to keep the elk. <gasps> there he is! Oh, and he probably regained all his health, too. And I probably need to start taking out some of the other cow elk to be able to eat them and regain my stamina <laughs> to be able to take him out. This is going to be really hard. And here I thought just killing one bull elk would be... Okay, one, two, would be too easy peasy. No, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that, Zephyr. I can't have any of your help. I'm sorry. It's nothing personal. It's for the challenge. And I think it's okay if he like takes a couple bites. We just can't rely on him. Because it'd be really hard to make him never, ever, ever, ever take a bite. All right, let's do this. Can I maybe chase him towards my pups? Is that something I can do? But once he starts running... Uh, I would rather chase him towards my pups than, than anything else. You know what I mean? Because at least he'd walk kind of... Oops, oops, oops. Nope, Zephyr, nope. Zephyr, you're getting attacked! I'm so sorry, my mate. He was just getting beat up by the cow elk. They're coming to defend their, their bull. All right, let's keep eating. I'm going to have to kill more cow elk to be able to get this done. Oh my gosh. This is truly going to be a challenge. I'm so excited. Ah, challenging yourself is a good thing, you guys. Not to the point where you get overwhelmed. Where'd he go? There he is. No, Zephyr, don't do it. Zephyr, I was trying to howl to call him off. All right, how do we do? Oh, goodness. All right, Zephyr's off to try to go heal. We need to feed the puppies soon. Oh my gosh, we finished off a whole cow elk. We're going to have to take out more cow elk. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is going to be awesome. All right. I better howl to let the puppies know that we're coming. Mom will be back. All right, Zephyr's howling too, so I don't think there's a, a predator. Oh, he's running now. Fudge to the knuckles. Come on. Just grab him and don't let go. Grab him and don't let go. Come on. Grab him and don't let go, my dear. Okay, I think that's the best we can do. I think I need to just, like, sit and wait for stamina to come back. And then I'll go over, grab his butt, and not let go. And so the bear-biting, elk-butt-biting legacy continues <laughs> here with Rain. If I can just catch up. Okay, let's stop for a second, actually. And maybe if I sneak, I can get a little teensy bit closer. Oh my gosh, yes. Just a teensy tiny bit closer to him. Oh gosh. And maybe that's all the boost we needed, perhaps. Look at him. How dare he be so elegant and swift. Okay, come on. On the hoof. All right, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The puppies are going to get hungry any minute now. Bite him and don't let go. I don't think this does as much damage as everybody thinks. No, don't do it, Zephyr. Everybody's always like, oh, Siri, just bite and don't let go. And then you can take tons of damage. And I never feel like that does a lot. I really don't. All right. So we're going to have to see if we can do this. Poor Rain. All right. The puppies are okay, but we're losing territory marker fast. I'm really glad that she's able to play on the easy mode. Because I don't know if we could do this if we were if we were on anything other than pretty easy. Wow. And if we have to finish without defeating the challenge, you don't get the blessing. But you, you don't get a curse either. I don't know. Maybe we should do a curse. Maybe it's like a 50-50 chance. If you don't appease your ancestors, you might get cursed for breaking the bond with them or something like that. All right, come on. Bite him. 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 Come on. Turn around, sir. Turn around. Okay, bite him one more time. Okay, wait. Okay, hold still. No, Zephyr. You have to stay here. Don't hold still to the point where... No, Zephyr. Don't do it. Yeah, I don't want her to hold still to the point where she doesn't move. All right. And puppies need fed now, so... Oh, bull elk, why? Why? No coyote, dang it! We have to kill the coyote. I'm gonna lose this hunt. All right, let's see if we can come up. Let's feed the babies really quickly. Make sure that there's no predators trying to eat them. Turn around and see if we can get an eye on that elk. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it was! 
We need to kill more cow elk, and I'm going to have to make sure the puppies are well taken care of. I'm going to have to come up and pee everywhere all the time. That's good. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun, you guys. It's going to be a good challenge. It's going to be a good one. Any predators? Nope. It's a remarkably predator-free summer, which is wonderful. And the puppies aren't doing that bad. I need to top them off. All right. We'll top everybody off. Here you go, Winter. Oh, why is there the hunting music? Did he wander up here? <gasps> that would be amazing if he just, like, wandered up here. All right. Hang on. Ash, I got to feed you, too. What are you doing, Zephyr? Why are you just, like, standing there, pushing against me? I'm trying to feed the puppies. Zephyr's like, oh, you need to do the hunt. Your ancestor demanded it. Maybe he's, like, really traditional and I just didn't know it. All right, there you go, Zephyr. Oh, he's trying to play with the puppies. That's adorable. All right, where's my bull elk? Oh, I think he's still here. Ah, I've got to pee on a couple more things, though, because if we get down to 75%, then that's when the stranger wolves start coming, and they're merciless. They move so fast. They move so ridiculously fast. I always worry about the puppies. All right, I think that's as good as I can do for peeing over here. All right, let's see if I can find the bull elk. It looks like he's returned to his herd. Let's come down and eat off of this elk. Talk about a challenge. All right, and if we can't get it this time, where is he? Did he return to his girls? There he is. Okay. Okay, sir. So now we know we can indeed corner him. Mm. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, we're locked on. We're locked on. Come on, get him. Oh my gosh, he's gonna outrun us. Like, every time. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the only way we can get close enough is to sneak and then burst as soon as he starts moving. No, don't go that way. Don't go that way. That's stranger wolf territory. It would suck to hunt all this meat and then lose him at the last second. Come on. Come on, we've almost got him. Two, and then bite and let don't. I was trying not to let go. <sighs> all right, let's see if we can do this. I don't know if we can. I think this will be our last attempt for now. Boink. There we go. So we really do have to sneak up on him. He is going to be a challenging one. And there's that, and it takes out quite a bit of damage, you guys. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, I don't think we managed to do it today, unfortunately. And at least Zephyr is holding still. So, fortunately and unfortunately, that means that we have a predator waiting for us when we get back to our den. So, we're going to have to plan this out a little bit more carefully. I think what we'll do is we'll take out some of the cow elk. And then we'll try to go in and hunt the bull elk. But this is going to be fun. It's going to drag out their puppy time. We might get a chance to kind of understand each of the puppies a little bit better. We're going to get to know the wolves a lot better. Like, look at Zephyr. <laughs> what are you doing? He's just dancing in place. I don't know why. I don't even know why, but it's kind of amazing. And it's just going to be awesome to have this challenge, you guys. So I'm really looking forward to it. And thank you all so much for bringing our stories to life. Without you guys and your art and your comments and your fan fiction that you put in the comments, this just wouldn't be what it is. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know what's up with Zephyr, but I think we need to go check on the puppies. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.